in this video we'll be talking about doing a balloon breath. I like to think of it as a three quarters balloon or a balloon with the top chopped off. So ideally we're retraining our breath pattern to um, create expansion around the ribs, the abdominals, and the pelvic floor in this balloon shape. So we get this three dimensional expansion and reducing the upper chest expansion in breath and so that we can help to mobilize the diaphragm and the pelvic floor and um, help to set the system up for stability and function. So we'll begin by just uh, placing the hands on the abdomen and take a breath in and visualize breathing into your abdomen and visualize that expansion. Feel the expansion and then as you exhale you'll feel the just gentle drawing in, just a little bit of a recoil from that movement. And then place your hands on your uh, side ribs and do the same thing and you breathe in and feel the ribs moving apart from one another as you exhale feel the ribs coming together and you could also do this with one hand on the front ribs and abdomen and one hand on the on the mid to low back and breathe in and try to expand the space between your hands that's a little harder to feel but ideally we're visualizing this whole big container expanding as we breathe in. And then we're visualizing this sort of, uh, that container sort of coming in towards the center just gently and relatively passively on the exhale. So for you, place your hands on your side ribs and we'll take a nice big breath in. Feel the ribs expand. Try not to let the chest lift and exhale. And so if we find that we tend to be more dominant, let's say in the abdomen, um, in our breath, then we wanna focus more on the side ribs and maybe even the um, front and back aspect of the ribs as we breathe in, rather than thinking so much about expanding the belly. But ultimately, we're trying to expand this whole region. So take nice deep breaths, uh, really focus on the inhale and then the exhale, just kind of coming back to the starting point. And I recommend doing about 20 or 30 of these a day. Um, ideally laying down where you can be really comfortable, although you might find it useful to do sitting up as well. 